Joe Camp is an animal coordinator for film and television in Los Angeles. Lauren Williams and Brian Hill are professional dog trainers with eight years of experience teaching dogs to guard against intruders and attack on command. Just how does the physiology of a predator determine the manner and power of its attack? The four varieties of dogs in this show answer that question. The bulldog makes his bite and then uses his body not only to wrestle the animal to the ground, he's actually twisting his bite to cause more pain. The mastiff totally uses nothing but its weight. Its attack was head on, slam into with his body, get a grip, and down you go. The Malinois and the Dutch Shepherd are very similar in shape. They draw the comparison between the ancient gray wolf and its larger cousin, the dire wolf. The Malinois, being a lighter dog, uses the momentum or its speed and coordination to pull its prey down. I think the Dutch Shepherd combined all the best traits of all the different styles. He hurled himself, therefore getting momentum. He opened his mouth as wide as he could, similar to the Malinois, got that good solid bite. His weight slammed into the prey, just like the bigger dogs. Very similar to the modern wolf and probably the dire wolf too. The more vigorous attack of the Dutch Shepherd hints at the advantage the dire wolf had over its lighter gray cousin. It may have used its more massive body to take down larger prey. Besides his superior size, the dire wolf's only other weapon was his massive head and jaw. To determine how the size of an animal's jaw affects the strength of his bite, a specially designed meter can be used. It will measure just how much power the jaws could pack. What we have here is a digital bite meter, and the sensor has a gap in it. When the dog bites it, it closes the gap, and the readout over here tells you how, much, how many pounds of force the dog is applying. Each dog is lured into biting the meter, and the force of that bite is measured. Quickly, a relationship between bite strength and head size emerges. For example, the Dutch Shepherd's head is only slightly larger than the Malinois, yet its bite is much stronger. One ninety-five. It was a one ninety-five. <laughs> I got it to a maximum of 224 right now, but it was up to about 230. And as for the Mastiff. That's the Mastiff, whoa. 556. That, that is, that's amazing, a lot more than I expected. The numbers demonstrate that a slight increase in the size of a dog's head can yield a significantly stronger bite. This was undoubtedly true for the prehistoric wolves. It's impossible to assign specific numbers to the dire wolf's bite. But it appears the dire wolf's larger head and jaw would have created a much stronger bite than his gray cousin. Its powerful bite, together with its robust attack style, probably allowed the dire wolf to bring down much larger prey.